top local story right now in the raid on Sean Diddy Combs' L.A. residence by federal agents. This is a story that we broke here on Fox 11. Mario Ramirez is outside of his Holmby Hills home right now with the latest developments for us. Good morning to you. Good morning. Quiet right now, but it was a chaotic scene with federal agents rushing into the home here behind me. There were two separate raids, one here in this upscale neighborhood, the other in Miami, both connected to a federal sex trafficking investigation. Hey, guys, welcome back to Surviving the Badge Bar. We are Cheers. here tonight. Cheers. We are here tonight to talk a little bit about the Polk County Sheriff's Office and a huge arrest massive massive that they did called operation march sadness <laughs> i love it so stick around we'll be back in a minute we're going to do a, a liquor moment and some other stuff be right back all right so <clears throat> we uh we appreciate our sponsors they allow us to buy beer and and whiskey and all that fun stuff so uh before we go into our whiskey moment here's our sponsor we would like to thank our sponsors kristen and tom clem realtors if you're ready to buy or sell a home in the central florida area these are the folks you need to contact and also to clem and company property investments when you're ready to sell that piece of property make sure you call tom with clem and company property investments he will take care of you all of their information can be found in the links below all right thank you very much so today hey, before we do, do that real quick i want to pay notice to our new lighting that we have here red and blue yeah ronnie and, uh, hits me under red i don't know if it's for evil or what but i don't know why i don't get new, blue our new flag here thin blue line flag if you like it comment we appreciate it go ahead with our liquor moment yeah brother. so um real quick so we can get right into the moment we are um, drinking uh, maker's mark peach uh, oh, ma maker's mark come on bro cooper's mark sorry i'm a maker's mark guy cooper's mark peach and it i had some earlier it's amazing it's freaking good man mm -hmm. if you like the peach flavor it's got good peach flavor does not taste like cough syrup or anything. Right. <laughs> it is very very good i got it for 23.99 at abc yep can't beat the price for that large of a bottle all right thanks sponsor so what happened in uh in polk county lt so they th Polk County Sheriff's Office did a whole human trafficking enforcement operation. Happy birthday, Grady Judd, by the way. Absolutely. Turned 70. Talking about um, human trafficking and uh, prostitution, which a lot of times involves human trafficking, as you all know. 128 arrests, 66 prostitutes, 50 Johns, and 12 others. This time we identified 13 potential victims of human trafficking. But I want to make this statement today. In one year, we have identified 58 potential victims of human trafficking. Um, it was an eight day human trafficking event um, where they, um, I'm sorry, dur during the, th the eight day undercover human trafficking operation, which began on February 22nd of this year, um, the vice units arrested 228 involved illegal acts. Um, out of those 288, uh, 41 suspects told detectives that they were married. 11 suspects told detectives they received government assistance. 44 brought illegal drugs to the location. Detectives seized fentanyl, heroin, cocaine, MDMA, hydrocodone, Xanax, methamphetamines, and marijuana. 15 of them brought firearms to the undercover locations. 17 total firearms were uh, sus I mean, uh, seized. Uh, 18 suspects were from other states, Puerto Rico, Alabama, California, Judge, Georgia, Illinois, just to name a few. So was this, was this one of those underage things? Were they no, 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 it was, prosecu it was prostitution, so they brought as a nation to commit prostitution. Um, offering prostitution. I mean, it was the, the you name it. But it, it was, was human trafficking. It wasn't just some lady on the street. No, trying to get people to, yeah. to come up and, right. and, yeah. and commit the act. You know, no, this was six bucks in a happy right. meal. Now get this. 21 of the 288 suspects that were arrested um, are suspected of being in the country illegally. No. Those who are here illegally f are from Chile. Cuba, 
Guatemala, Mexico, Peru, and Venezuela. Huh. Nothing nothing from the northern border, huh? Well, I don't think Canada. Yeah, no. yeah, it's weird. I don't think the so Canadians would have traveled border. to South Florida. But, I mean, <laughs> hey, maybe. So Hell, guys, they, some of them were from Illinois. So, <laughs> so guys, we just, we just did a, uh, an episode on illegal or crime that's committed by illegal immigrants. And we didn't really talk that much about human trafficking, but it's huge. Oh, my the God. The human trafficking huge. coming in through the United States. Well, these, and these individuals of, yeah. are, are brought here. Right. And, and they're, oh, they're sponsored by somebody. And then that person is, is delivered to somebody. And then they, they sold sold into, you know, human trafficking, usually sex or labor. And drug running. 85,000 to 100 are, are missing. The, the U.S. government doesn't even know where these kids are. That's correct. We talked about the reports of the number of these children who have been lost, who have been sold into labor trafficking, into sex trafficking. Since your last appearance, the numbers have grown worse. It now approaches 100,000 children, according to public reports, 100,000 children lost by your department and the Biden administration, migrant children sold into labor trafficking and sex trafficking. Now you're And it's so sickening. It is. I mean, I've, I've worked child um, um, sex crimes and, and child pornography, and what people do to children is absolutely sickening. And when it we really have a country is. that is allowing this to happen so frequently, you, you guys should be ashamed of yourself, what you are allowing the children of this country and children of any country to be f forced to. To, to suffer. It's it's yeah. disgusting. It's gross. It really is. Um, during the investigation, here's the good news, though. During this entire investigation, uh, which lasted like two and a half months, um, 13 possible human trafficking victims were identified of the 66 prostitutes who were arrested. Yeah. So that's 13 women mm -hmm. that are going to be pulled. Well, it could have been men, too. Yeah. They're going to be pulled out of that, you know, human trafficking yep. realm that they've been a part of and possibly probably save their lives. Yeah, for absolutely. sure. Because eventually they're not any use to these individuals. Yeah, they just, just pow. Yeah. You're gone. Done. See yeah. you later. Throw them in the river, you know, whatever. People are disgusting to other people. It's it's amazing. You know, the, if, if you... You cops out there, you know what we're talking about. We've seen the worst of the worst. For you guys who are not in law enforcement, you're like, oh, everything's fine. No, it's not. No, it's P not. People it's really treat not. other people just absolutely deplorable. They really and do. Just put it down. I'm not going to put it down. Go put your car. What is it, dude? Go. Do you want to go home tonight? Yes, pick relax. Wrong, did you pick the wrong day to go to work today? Okay, dude, relax, please. Okay, get back to relax. Get back to your car, please. Relax, dude. I'm gonna relax. Just shots fired, shots fired. Shots fired. Um, there were 150 suspects arrested for soliciting a prostitute and traveling to the undercover location to negotiate having sex in exchange for money. Twelve other suspects were arrested, and of those, eight were either deriving proceeds proceeds from prostitution or transporting uh, prostitutes to the undercover location. So, I mean, it's a, still a big business, man. It, prostitution it, is a since huge the beginning of time. business. Since the and, beginning yeah, and of time, people don't realize man. it, but it really is. Yep. Um, now, get this. This is what kind of sucks. Among those arrested were a school teacher, yep. coaches, and active duty members... Among other professions. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean. Every single profession known to man has individuals who are scumbags, who reach out to children and try to have sex with children. And, 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 and just it's it's disgusting. You know, Grady Judd is and, and I've said this in many of our shows over and over again. He, he is the quintessential southern sheriff. Florida Sheriff. We're very proud of him. He says what is on his mind. He doesn't hold anything back. He doesn't care about the political correctness or any nope. of that other trash. He calls it exactly the way it should be called. Absolutely. And I admire the guy. And there's a few of our sheriffs that are like that. Wayne Ivey, another Wayne one. Wayne Ivey, the other. And to those out there who might be foolish enough to ask why we shot him so many times, that answer is simple. Because evil 
can never be dead enough. The one from Flagler County, yep. um, I forget his name off the top of my head, but he doesn't play any games either. Um, people are sick of this. Yeah. They are sick to death of this, and these sheriffs are sick to death of the citizens of their counties being victimized by illegals or whoever else, these scumbags. And I, I just salute. I'm going to give a salute to our Florida sheriffs Absolutely. because over 95% of them are jam up and they are kicking ass out there on the job. They really are. Here's to you. And and our police chiefs too. Yep. You know, the police chiefs and, and everybody else, they are just doing a fantastic job with the resources they have, the money they have. Yep. I mean, they're doing the best they can. They really are. What's nice about the sheriffs is they're elected and if they're kicking ass and taking names, yeah. I guarantee the people in that county love the love hell them. out of them. You and could, there's no, there's, yeah, there's, you there's, couldn't unseat Grady Judd yeah. with a freaking backhoe. Yeah. You couldn't get him out of that there's, office. There's zero. There, there's um, and for, for for sheriffs, there's not a term limit. So no, as no. long as he's kicking ass and taking names and his people love him. And then ballot box are filled with his name. <laughs> that's all the matter. And, and, I, and I wonder over the last, I don't know how long he's been sheriff. I wonder how, how many even people run against him because yeah. they know it's just yeah. not even a, a thing. You well, know? my son played um, travel ball or we were up at Dewey playing and he was, <clears throat> I think, 13. He's 23 now, and he had already been sheriff for at least one term. He's been sheriff for probably 14, 15, 16 years. Yeah. yeah. Probably. He ain't never leaving, man. No. no. And he's Not only until seven. He's a young guy. Until he <laughs> says, all right, enough's enough. Right. I want to enjoy my life. Yeah. You know? And then he's going to endorse somebody. Wayne Ivey's a young guy. Our 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 sheriff. Our sheriff. In in, in, in Volusia he's County. Kicking he's ass. kicking ass and taking he's kicking names. Ass. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm glad you saluted all the sheriffs. And, hey, let us know who your sheriff is. Are they awesome like ours, or are they a bunch of knuckleheads? Yeah. Um, and comment down below and like and subscribe. And We really appreciate it. To all our viewers, you know, we're up over 1,200 subscribers. And God bless, man. I, I remember just like three months ago, <laughs> we were begging to get to 500. Right. And now we're over 1,200. Yeah, we really appreciate and, that. That's you good you know, stuff. And all this gear and everything comes to you from a from a sponsor, friend of the shows. He's like family. Um, the name of his, his organization is Half a Mind to Kick Your Ass, <laughs> which I absolutely love. Thanks for all the new gear and equipment and everything, man. We really appreciate it. And just remember, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So as of as of today, we oh, have yeah. we have twenty five officers who have been killed in the line of duty, and and I think it's actually twenty six because I did the numbers yesterday, and there was a uh, there was a um, uh, New Mexico police officer killed. I sent you. The, Is that the one you just yep, sent me? Yep. Yeah. Um, and he, he was killed on Friday, and so this officer comes up to an individual who was changing a tire, has a flat tire. And the guy who has a flat tire walks up and the officer's like, hey, how can I help you? And the guy pulls a gun and murders this police officer right there in his car trying to yeah. do a good thing. Um, so, so let's hear all the assholes out there that hate the cops and say the cops shoot everybody. Let's see a comment on this one. The guy was out of his car trying to help the dude change a flat tire and gets his head blown off. And speaking of comments. We, we've been getting a lot of comments, and I know you you go on there, and I go on there. Sometimes we delete the, the racial sh stuff, but we also challenge you, you know? Like, oh, well, they, they shouldn't have shot him. And I'm like, oh, well, what agency do you work for so that we can study you and make sure that we are 100% perfect just like you? Yeah. And then, poop, beep, nothing. Yeah, yeah nothing. So, hey, Crickets. I love a good debate. Bring it. <laughs> crickets <laughs> after that it's great i mean yeah i love it all right Listen, guys we love all you guys that watch and subscribe and and comment whether you agree with us or not we still love the comments and we're going to respect those i will not take your comment and delete it unless it's racially motivated or yep. something like that i won't delete it other than that comment away we love it right just remember guys at surviving the badge still we got still got your, got your six. six salute be safe out there